This is the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. And now we can finally say that without tacking on words like prototype or developer kit, because starting today, the Oculus Rift is finally shipping to customers. So how does it stack up? Well, that depends. It's not a self-contained device, it's a peripheral. And it won't work with just any computer. You need a desktop PC running Windows and you better hope that it's brawny. Now the headset itself is actually remarkably comfortable. Not just to wear, but to deliver you VR experiences. You know, once you get past that whole box on your face thing. Thankfully, it feels lighter than it actually is, thanks to some savvy ergonomic design. Just don't make it too tight, or after more than about 15 minutes you might end up with VR face. Inside the Rift, what you end up looking at is really two custom displays running at a combined 2.5K resolution. But thanks to some added magic, like what we think is a diffusion layer to smooth out any visible pixels, a lot of the dreaded screen door effect has been mitigated since earlier versions. It's not like you don't know you're looking at a screen, but all that visual stuff is just one small element in a whole constellation of technologies that works together to enable presence, that phenomenon when your brain actually reacts to a virtual experience as though you're really there. The integrated on-ear headphones might not look like much, but they deliver shockingly good sound. The entire front of the headset is studded with infrared LEDs, as is the rear triangle, and that allows the included infrared sensor that comes with the Rift to track your headset in space. What that means is that when you're sitting at a table in VR, you can lean forward in the real world, and you'll lean forward in VR as well. That's called positional tracking, and is one of the most significant differences between a higher-end headset and a mobile VR device that runs off a smartphone, like the Samsung Gear VR. It's also an absolute must for most things you're gonna to wanna to do in VR. While 360 degree videos and pictures don't take advantage of positional tracking, games do. And games are by far the most robust use case right now. If you're not at least somewhat interested in games, then this won't be a day one purchase for you. If you are interested in games, there are 30 of them available in the Oculus Store starting today. The Rift isn't cheap. It's $600 for the headset and accessories alone. And if you need an Oculus-ready PC to go with it, you're looking at $1,500 minimum for the whole thing. Now, if you've been excited about VR, and you've been keeping tabs on it, you've likely already been saving your pennies. And if you have been, you won't be disappointed. If you're just curious, though, you may want to check it out at a friend's house. But if you do, don't blame me if you run out the next day to join the VR revolution. This is not a fad. I repeat, this is not a fad. This is a very real, first step into the future. How's my VR face? <laughs>